Shalom. Before I begin this video, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continue to rule very well. And Shalom to the hopeful elect that is also pushing forth this ministry, this gospel, throughout the four corners of the earth. To the other members of the hopeful elect, uh, keeping your hands on the plow, giving all diligence and faith, true and sincerity. Now, the topic of this video is going to be entitled, Your Wisdom in the Sight of the Nations. Because concerning the last statutes of commandments, these were only given to a certain nation. All right, and that nation is Israel. Okay, that's the only nation, or should I say, when Israel was coming out of the land of Egypt, there was no other nation that was that was with them man it was only the children of israel that was led out of the land of egypt and they were the only ones that was at the mount when moses received the law says the commandments so the law says the commandments belong to us all right this is our heritage man and now as of today man jake uh israel you know these so-called negroes Hispanics, and native americans in which we are the true hebrew israelites Okay, they refuse to accept that. They want to be everything else but Israelites, man. In which Israelites are are, are close to Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. We're close to the Most High, man, because the Most High is um is our heavenly Father, and we're His sons. All right. That's why the scriptures say, um, Israel is Israel is my um my son, yea, even my firstborn. So we're near and dear to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai has us as the apple of his eye. All right. So if any man, you know, if anyone, you know, hurts us, then you're 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 touching the apple of his eye, man. And the Most High has it as an end for you. Now you have Esau, the Edomites, which is these so-called white people. Um, they touch the apple of his eye, man. All right, they're, and they still, they're still uh, killing our people to this day, man. They're still putting harsh hell on our people. So that's why Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has no mercy for him, man. And it was set up this way. So there's no form of, of repentance or, or, you know, crying out to, you know, crying out to sweet Jesus. None of that's going to save you, man. None of that's going to save you from slavery that's, that's going to be put upon you, man. All right. Cause that's that's righteous judgment. But see here it is. Esau wants to take the law says the commandments in his own hands and um call it call it his. Starting with these uh these Amalekites, man, these so called Jews. Alright, in which they can't even keep that, man. They can't even keep the law says the commandments. Because they got something called the uh Talmud. All right, and the Talmud is 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 completely contrary to what the Bible says, man. So the so-called white man, you know, he has no business. Really, he has no business in even reading our our book, man, or, or reading the Bible, because it's not it doesn't belong to him, man. It belongs to us. The the things that are written within the scriptures belong to Israel. All right, because Israel. Are the ones to uh, govern the earth. All right. Now that goes along with um, the scripture in Second Ezra, where it speaks about um, out of Adam come we all, and also the people that that the Lord has chosen. All right. But He looks at the other nations as nothing, and as liking them unto spittle, man. In in a uh, in a drop of a bucket. In which a drop of a bucket, you know, a person is not gonna go back. You know, if some if he drops, you know, if he has a drop of water that fell out of a bucket, he's not gonna, you know, cry over that that uh, drop that fell out of that bucket. He's gonna, you know, keep walking with the bucket full of water, man. So that's how the Lord looks at these other nations. Okay. Going back to what I was saying about 
the law says the commandments that were given unto us. This is our wisdom in the sight of the nations, man. And the reason why is, is our wisdom in the sight of the nations is because that is how we govern the earth. This is how we govern ourselves, you know, our families, our livestock, everything that deals with life. That's how we're supposed to do it. According to what Yahweh Bashim Yahshua says. All right. There's a reason why. And it's not just written there just to, just to, just to be there, man. It's written there for a, a very good reason, man. All right. If the land was governed by law says, the law says the commandments, then you would see the land flourish like never before, man. It was it would it would uh, promote life. But see, you have it here in America. It promotes nothing but death, man. Why is that? Because it's not governed by the law says the commandments. Because the so-called white man doesn't govern himself by the law says the commandments. Yeah, he says this is a God-fearing country, so-called country. You know, he doesn't govern govern the land in uh, according to the Bible, according to what's written. All right. So once again, going back to me saying about this is our heritage. This this uh, these commandments, these laws, and these statutes. This is our heritage, man. This was kept away from us for for a, a very long time, man. Because the so-called white man, these Edomites, they uh, whipped it out of us, man. Because back then, you know, we we had a sense of what what, what you know uh, what was written. All right, which um, Israel was doing it through the Spirit, and yet. You know Israel is still going off, no matter you know, no matter how you look at it. But that's our heritage, man. All right, no other nation could come into this thing, man. It's it's uh, it's a it's something that concerns bloodline. All right, if you're not a part of the bloodline, you're not a part of the family that stems all the way back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, then you have no part in this. All right. You know, I hate to rain on your parade, but that's how it is, man. That's that's the cold hard truth. These other nations have no business business being in our heritage, man. Especially the so-called white man. All right. That's why we don't get along. So going into the scripture, this is uh, Deuteronomy chapter four, verse six. It says, uh, "Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, surely." This great nation is a wise and understanding people. See, this this is what makes you wise, man. The words of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai makes you wise. All right, not not what these um, PhD and doctorates uh, instructors you know tell you in these uh, fool systems. All right, this is what makes you wise. This is what you, this is where you get wisdom from. All right, and I forgot uh, which uh, former president made a statement about uh, the Bible. It's saying that the, the best, I think it's uh, Roosevelt, if I'm not mistaken. It says that the best education that you can get is education of the Bible. And that's true. The best education that you can get is outside of the Bible. Because it deals with every aspect of life. Alright. So Rena said, for what nation is there so great who hath the most high so nigh unto them? As the Lord, our power is in all things that we call upon Him for. All right. So it said, well, "Man, what what nation is there so great that, that is so near to you? How about Shimei the, the the supreme being, man, the Most High Power?" Read now in verse eight. It said, "What nation is there so great that has statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law, which I set before you this day?" Alright So it also says man What nation is there so great That has statutes and judgments so righteous As all this law man And the answer to that is There's no other nation but the nation of Israel To answer both of these questions Alright So yes These laws have commandments The things that are written within the scriptures even Not only that man Because this, this the scriptures in itself Is known as the book of the law man all right. It's full of it's full of commandments. It's full of prophecies. All right.
And yet, you know, here it is today, man. Jake, they have their Bibles, you know, sitting up in a bookshelf somewhere collecting dust, man. Don't even, don't even bother to go in and, and, and read it. In which it doesn't even matter because even if they did try to go in and read it, if, if you how about Shemuel Shah is not dealing with you, then you're not going to be able to understand it either way. So it's still going to remain a stumbling block. And the, the reason why I'm saying that Jake, you know, even though they're going to the Bible and reading and try to understand it and they won't be able to, is because the Lord poured out that spirit upon two thirds of our people to, to not understand it. Because the prophecy in Isaiah chapter 6 verse 9 has to be fulfilled and it's already being fulfilled, man. You see, Jake, you know, they try to go into the Bible. They, they can't they can't go in and uh, break it down. Not like the men, of, not like uh, the prophets that are out on the highways and byways now, which is uh, from the apostle elders on down of Great Millstone. They can't. All right. Now, I'm going to go from there. I'm going to get the book of uh, Sirach, chapter 17, verse uh, 9. It says, He gave them to glory in his marvelous acts, forever that they might declare his works with understanding and the elect shall praise his holy name all right so uh, <laughs> there's that there's that name again all right the elect shall praise his holy name and the election is going to have the name of the heavenly father yahweh bashim al shot all right and there's a scripture where it says uh, you will find you will not find nowhere you will find the heavenly father's name but in israel all right, and yet you have an Israel of the Most High, so you're only going to be able to find that name in the Israel of the Most High, which is the election, the 144,000, which is uh, 12,000 out of each tribe of Israel. All right. Now, verse 11 said, "Beside the, uh, it's like it. Beside this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for inheritance." And see, that just reiterates the point where I was talking about earlier. He said he gave us. The knowledge and the law of life for a heritage. So the law of life is our heritage. All right. This law, this book, which is the book of the law, this is our heritage, man. Okay. That's why during the time of slavery, um, they the so-called white man wouldn't allow us to read books, let alone the Bible. If we were caught reading books, and this is actual fact, if we were caught reading books, then they will uh, give us a certain amount of lashes, man. Now, it would be different if we were reading the Bible. Now, if we were caught reading the Bible, then that calls for lynching, man. They they pretty much put us to death. Whoever, read, whoever reads the Bible, you know, they get put to death, man, back during the time of slavery. All right? So here it is, man. You got Jake saying that, oh, that's a white man's book. You know, we, you know, you, you don't know what you're doing reading that book. Well, the thing is, man, this this book condemns the so-called white man. All right, it condemns them, man. And if it was the so-called white man's book, then wouldn't he be, wouldn't he be uh, allowing us to read it during the time of slavery? Wouldn't he allow us to to go inside the Bible and and read it if it was his book? Would he, would, if that was the case, then he would have put an edict out saying, okay, well, I'm not going to allow you to, to, to read these other books, but I'm going to give you my book, you know, to let you read it so you can uh, see that we're we're the, uh, the children of the Most High. Then Esau didn't do that. All right, because he wasn't able to do that until later on uh, when you had a group called the Bible Destruction Group, which was uh, a group that was consisted of uh, Jesuits. That came together to um, pretty much mingle the translation and um, to just just to throw us off, taking things out of the Bible, especially the apocrypha, which is supposed to be in in, in the Bible, all right? Because the apocrypha is is a part of the original scriptures, man. Translated by King, well, not translated by King James. King James uh, pretty much has scholars to interpret. The scriptures, man. Okay. So with that, man, um, I didn't want to make this video too long. Lord willing, I, you know, I didn't make this video too long. I am known to be very long-winded. You know, from the <laughs> the last video I did, 
uh, concerning wisdom. That was a little long-winded. But, like I said before, man, um, this is this is our heritage. This is our original heritage, not 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 being a damn African, you know, dancing around with with, with sticks and uh, leaf aprons, man. That's that's that man. That's not us, man. All right, we have we're we're more lively than them, man. That's why uh, the Lord said He put He put a difference between us and the Egyptians, which the Egyptians um, are Hamites. All right, you had the Egyptians, you had the um, Ethiopians, you had Cushites, you had Canaan, Canaanites. So we're we're completely different from from them, man. Okay. So once again, man, uh, Lord willing, you I can edify with this video. Till next time, once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continually rule very well. And peace and safety to the hopefully elect that is also um, pushing this word, this truth, in all faith, sincerity, giving all diligence. And with that, we're going to say shalom.